Hey cuties! So today I just wanted to kind of sit down and talk with you guys. I just want you guys to be safe on the internet. If you are writing something about somebody on the internet, whether that is to a beauty guru or whether that is behind a beauty guru's back on like a website that, you know, whatever website it is, Facebook, Twitter, Guru Gossip, anything. If you are on these sites or any sites writing something about somebody else, even if it's a YouTuber, your friend, a lawyer, anybody in the world, please be careful. Some issues happened with my life and a lot of you may know what's going on. Some people may not know what's going on. I'm not going to go into detail about that because there is some things pending, not going into details at all, but it is a good thing. Yay. Happiness. You really just have to watch what you say to people. I am in no way telling you guys to be amazing to me or only say good things. This is for everybody. Slander is a horrible thing and let me give you guys an example let's just say um i don't like a beauty guru i would never do this but i get comments like this all the time like you're fat you have ugly teeth i know i have ugly teeth but i still flaunt them but it, you know something like that like my hair is ugly or right now it's just up in this ra random mess you can say whatever you want to anybody about their appearance if they're ugly if they're fat if you don't like them if you hate them you can say that it's 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 opinion it's it's what you feel and what you think that is what youtube is and the you know the internet is you can say whatever you feel about people now with the point where it gets um, slander or illegal higher up people might get involved and there's so many things that could get involved with it such as the police maybe the FBI maybe if you have a job you could lose your job for something that you say you could face jail time some of those things like a lot of people will say whatever they want it's fine but when you take it to another level such as slandering somebody harassing them violating their personal information when they don't want it to you could be charged and I'm just here to tell you guys to be safe and just make smart decisions if you really don't like me tell me I'm ugly like go on a website go on here go on Twitter tell me I'm ugly say that I'm you know a horrible person or whatever that's fine I mean you're allowed to say that you're more than entitled to say that but when you are lying about somebody that's another one that's what slander well I'm not sure like the true definitions but slander basically is when you are lying about somebody else and trying to make other people seem like it's true for instance okay let's just say at the bank or something some some lady is there and she's you know, kind of mean to me or being a little bitchy or I just don't like her. I don't like what she's doing. And if she said something to me like, oh, like nice outfit and she was kind of like mean about it. And then I went on a website and started saying, you know, she was at her job putting money in her pocket or if she was at her job, um, I don't know, like something like that's a complete lie about her that could, you know, have her job or reputation on the line that is slander and that is a lie. And um, sometimes I do have lies getting written about me. Mainly it's just like about how I look and how I talk and you know, how I'm a liar apparently. But when it is taken to another level as you're being completely lied about, then you need to get things dealt with. Again, I'm not saying much as to what I have done at all. I'm just gonna keep that private in my own personal opinions. Just really make sure what you are saying on the internet is the truth and not just your opinion. You can't go around and saying that somebody has done something in your life and you saw them do this or you were there and watching them do this and lie about it. That is a no-no and that can give you some serious consequences. I know I have a lot of younger viewers who don't really know that because they see a lot of hate comments and people being mean but just really be careful because even if you are like 12 or 13 right now and if you are calling somebody fat, whatever, it's your own choice if you're doing that. If you do happen to know somebody who's in the video and if you want to make up a story about them as in like they went to the back and was shooting up heroin and you know like threw their kids off a balcony because you just don't like them. That is wrong and that is slander. You cannot lie about somebody like that unless you, they actually did. If they actually did like throw their kids off a balcony, then oh my God, if somebody's saying that, like that's the truth and you, you know, saw it or whatever. It's not just something you heard about. If you heard about this girl throwing her kids off a balcony, then you can't say that because you don't know if it's true or not. There's tons of opinions about everybody on the internet in general, whether that's Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, but really know somebody and don't just make up something, especially if you've never met them or if you met them and hate them. It goes beyond haters when somebody is trying to legit like ruin your life and I know so many people, YouTubers have had this happen to them and I've watched so many videos of YouTubers like crying and breaking down and having so many like 
harsh lies said about them and rumors that are just completely untrue. And that is kind of the reason why I took down my embalming videos. Um, I just took them down because I am over it. I'm over all the accusations that are completely false. I'm just over it and I'm not naming any specific names. I am not giving any specifics because of some things happening right now. Nothing at all. I'm just making this video in general of Please be careful because I have so many younger viewers and um, I'm glad that I'm in a position right now. I'm so thankful for great people in my life right now. Say whatever you want about me and I'm not, I'm not being mean, I'm being honest. Like say, say whatever you guys want or feel or you know, whatever. But if you are blatantly lying about somebody, please be careful. So just take a minute when you are on the internet in writing something about somebody else and make sure that it's true and make sure you know the truth unless it's an opinion like you're ugly your earrings are ratchet ass like whatever you can say all that all you like or if you are reading something on the internet please you guys don't think everything is true just from a comment down below if you are reading anything on a website and um, if somebody claims that they did know you in the past or there's specific information there you cannot believe that that is true maybe it is maybe some things are true maybe some things are a lie so I'm just kind of over like lies and rumors and I want to thank everyone who's being so nice to me right now because I've went through a pretty hard last few days and I want to remain positive and the main message is please be careful on what you post online because you cannot just do this to somebody's life if it is completely false you cannot go on a public website and completely lie about somebody and what they did in their life or anything like that. Just be safe. Know what you're saying, know what you're reading. Just because somebody claims something is true about somebody else, half the time it is not true. And I am just over it. Deleted some videos in my life. I did that because I am over the drama. I did that because there was tons of rumors and lies about me being going around on social media. Complete lies, let me say that as that. As well as, it, it was, embalming was something that I loved. I loved embalming, it was my, my true passion in life. And when I work so hard and, you know, kind of put my all into a video and get emotional, um, and then people just, lie about it or rumor about it, it hurts me. I mean, huh. So thank you guys for everyone who is sticking with me and staying true to yourself. Please always just be cautious of what you put online and what you read. If you don't like somebody, that's fine. Like you can X out or go call them a cow or something. You cannot blatantly lie about somebody else. Just don't do it. Just why? Like why do it? I will talk to you guys later. Thank you guys so much for watching this. I, I, out of any of the videos I've ever posted in my entire life, I hope this one helps you the most. Be safe. You do not want your life to be ruined by one simple comment you wrote and click enter on, on any website in general. Please do not do it. Make sure what you know what you're saying and just be safe on the internet, you guys. Okay guys, um, it's a little bit darker here um, and you guys know I don't have any light. <sighs> if, if you see a comment below, you can't just automatically believe that that's true. Even if somebody is really, you know, good in their argument, if they seem like they are telling the truth and everything like that, it doesn't mean that they are telling the truth. And it's really unfortunate how like one person or two people or three people, whatever it is, can say something that seems like, well, I'm gonna angle this down, that seems like it's the truth that so many people believe it. And then that's just the truth. And then I'm a horrible person and I'm this and that. When in reality, everything that has been said about things in the past few videos, most of them, like, I would say like 90% of them are false and completely false and ridiculous. And I know a lot of my true cuties will say like, you don't have to prove a thing to you, to anybody. What I am trying to say in this video is be safe in what you see on the internet. And it's really upsetting at how many people are believing lies, like straight lies, like absolutely positively lies and how like they're so convinced, like you guys can't be so convinced and caught up in something if you just read it or, you know, like read 10 sentences of something. How is that the truth? So like um, uh, lies that I've never even thought of in my life, like lies that haven't even been in my head ever. All of a sudden it's like, you're lying about this. I'm like, what? I've never even done that. I've never even said that. I've never stated that. That's not even anything. Or people like pretend like they know you, you know, like there's people that 
that could live in, you know, Pennsylvania, for instance, and they could say that they've known me their entire life and I'm a drug addict or I'm this and that, are you gonna believe them? Even if they have like a real convincing story, are you gonna believe that? Probably, probably some people will absolutely, oh, you're such a drug addict, but not everything you read in comments are true. You guys are very smart individuals and can know what a lie is and what not a lie is. And just because I'm on here talking, does that mean I'm just qualified as a liar? No. I will definitely say there are some things, like I'm a procrastinator, definitely. So if I'm like, oh, I'll have a room tour up, it's probably gonna be in like four years. <laughs> There's just so much more important things to worry about in this world. Just because I'm on a computer screen, then I'm just like, oh yeah, you're, you're good to be lied about. Chris just having a little bit of a, a breathing attack here that he gets time to time. You see, like, this is real life. It's, it's so upsetting to see people so caught up in this and believing it. Just use your judgment. You guys aren't dumb. You're, you're not dumb at all. You can use your judgment and see, like, what is false and what is true. And if somebody has never even met you, they may claim that they have known you and maybe you've never even seen them a day in your life. The scenarios that they are saying may have never ever happened before. It is just crazy. Wow. Wow is all I gotta say. And if literally you guys want to believe all these things that are going on, more power to you. You believe whatever you want, you take whatever into consideration that you have in your minds and in your souls, and if you want to believe it, that's fine. I am so happy for today, and all this weight has just been lifted off my shoulders because you guys literally cannot just go onto anyone's video and just lie about them. And if I was lying, then none of this would be happening right now. All I'm gonna say, it's just crazy. It is. It's just crazy and it's sad and I know it comes with the territory of having a YouTube channel. I've seen some beauty gurus like get such bad lies against them. Um, so horribly lies. Oh, such rank lies put against them that are completely false. Like, uh, I, I can like probably like five different scenarios just popped in my head of beauty gurus who have been caught in lies when they haven't even experienced the thing that they're being told that they're lying about ever. And that's why some beauty gurus and YouTubers won't ever give you even an inch into their lives. Because even if you give them an inch and say like, oh, I do this as a job, or I'm doing this as schooling, or this is my hair color, this is where I work out, or anything like that, people can take that and spin it and be like, oh, I seen her at the gym, this is what she did, and this is what she did, and people will believe it. Some people will actually legitimately believe it, but yet you're living, I'm living in Saskatoon here, some person living in Pennsylvania might claim that they know you, and that they saw you doing this, and you never did this, and this is a lie, and that, and they'll post it, and people will believe it. I can't believe it. I can't believe some people actually believe these things and want me to put proof on the internet of things. And this is probably a long ranting video and I am just going to go now. Thank you for watching again. Bye. These are like that perfect Kylie Jenner look. Um, and that's what the math lady said. I was thinking that beforehand, that's why I wanted to pick these up and grab them and run. But the math lady said that 